after Alexander's death, it was his general Seleucus become new king of his empire where he renamed empire as Seleucid Empire. And other side, Chanukya and Chandragupta Maurya defeated Nanda Empire and established Mauryan Empire to unite smaller kingdoms into Akhand Bharat to stop outside invaders. And one should remember that Alexander failed to conquer India where he was defeated by King Porus but it was Seleucus who wanted to achieve what Alexander could not so he decides to invade India. But question pops in everyone's mind is, can Seleucus conquer India with his huge army? How Chanukya and Chandragupta Maurya faced Seleucus huge army? And what happened to Mauryan Empire after battle? For next 4 minutes, I am going to tell you historical facts of Seleucid Mauryan war which cannot be forgotten in history of India. Stay tuned and watch full video. Before watching video, if you not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe and press bell icon for short and simplified videos every day. Let's begin our video from 326 BC where Alexander waged war on Puru kingdom in which Alexander was defeated badly by King Porus in battle of Hydaspes. After battle, Alexander did not try to attack India again because his troops withdraw support to invade India in fear of Magad army strength especially war elephants. So Alexander decides to stop his further invasion and announced victory of all battles and returned to Babylon where he fell sick. And it was in year 323 BC where Alexander died in Babylon and later it was his general Seleucus become new king of Alexander Empire where he renamed Alexander Empire as Seleucid Empire. And at that time India was not united to defeat outside invaders so it was royal advisor Chanukya who decides to unite India into Akhand Bharat and went to Dhanananda who was king of Nanda Empire. But Dhanananda rejected Chanukya's proposal and insulted him in front of everyone where Chanukya decides to take revenge and challenge it to Dhanananda to collapse Nanda Empire empire. And in process of uniting people, Chanukya found Chandragupta Maurya where he took Chandragupta Maurya to Takshashila and trained him to destroy Nanda Empire. And it was in year 321 BC where Chandragupta Maurya finally attacked on Patliputra with huge army where he defeated Nanda Empire. After battle, Chandragupta Maurya becomes new king of Mauryan Empire and Chanukya becomes prime minister where they established a Mauryan Empire by making Patliputra as their capital. And to stop outside invaders, Chanukya and Chandragupta Maurya started expanding their empire from Magad to North and western region of India. By defeating kingdoms or alliancing neighbor kings under Mauryan Empire, they reach it towards Gandhara region which is modern day Afghanistan. And one should remember that at the time India was called Sony Kichidia which is golden bird where many outside invaders used to come to India to loot treasure. And we all know that Alexander died without fulfilling his dream of conquering India and it was King Seleucus who wanted to make himself greater than Alexander and decides to invade and conquer India. And not to forget Alexander had captured territory still in Indus Valley where he had appointed governors to control his territory so it was easy for Seleucus to reach India. And it was in year 305 BC where Seleucus started advancing his troops towards India and it is said that Seleucid Empire had huge army which includes 2 lakh infantry and 50,000 cavalry. As predicted by Chanukya, outside invaders reached near Indian territory to conquer India but this time it was Mauryan Empire which has united many small kingdoms into Akhand Bharat. So Chanukya and Chandragupta Maurya was ready to defend Mauryan Empire and was waiting in borders for arrival of Seleucus troops. And not to forget Mauryan Empire had 1 lakh infantry, 50,000 cavalry, 1 lakh archers and more than 10,000 deadly war elephants. At that time war elephants was greater strength to army in which only Indians had and it was in year 305 BC where huge war started between Seleucid and Mauryan Empire in river bank of Indus. In battle both sides fought very bravely but it was Mauryan dangerous elephants which was crushing enemy where Mauryan Empire was on upper and to defeat Seleucus. And in battle thousands of soldiers had died where Seleucus Lucas understands that defeating Mauryan army is not that easy and decides to surrender himself in front of Chandragupta Maurya. But it was royal advisor Chanukya who accepted his surrender only on two conditions. First condition was Chanukya asked Seleucus to return back all areas of Indian territory and parts of Afghanistan which was conquered by Alexander and Greeks. And second condition was Chanukya wanted matrimonial alliance with Seleucus so he asked Seleucus for his daughter Helena to marry Chandragupta Maurya. Seleucus agreed with both conditions and told that he will never invade India. India again in his life and in return Chanukya gifted 500 war elephants to Seleucus as goodwill. And it is said that many things including mathematics, science and many ancient scripture was taken from India and translated into Greek scriptures claiming Indian works as Greeks invention. After this peace deal Greeks have never tried to invade India and problem between Greeks and Indian were completely solved and Mauryan controlling territory of Afghanistan helped guarding India from western invaders. Now whole north and central India was united under the rule of Mauryan empire and later Chandragupta Maurya went on to expand his rule in southern part of India into Akhand Bharat. So that's the end of short and simplified video about Seleucid who tried to invade India. If you think this video is knowledge then kindly share this video among your friends and comment your doubts in comment section. And also you 
कैन आस्क योर डाउट इन माई सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट एंड लिंक विल बी गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड ट्रेंडिंग वीडियोज